the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has set out plans to support female entrepreneurs, cut red tape for businesses and boost apprenticeships. Speaking at an event in the Midlands, Rishi Sunak has pledged to create up to 20,000 more apprenticeships, saying that the government will pay the full cost of these apprenticeships for people aged 21 or under, but at small firms, and that's starting in April. So joining us now is GB News Economics and Business Editor Liam Halligan with On The Money. Right, Liam, what's your assessment of this announcement then? Is this a good thing? It's going to get lots of young people new jobs? Good to be with you guys. Um, it's a real perennial of election campaigning or pre-election campaigning before the campaign starts in earnest for governments to talk about small businesses. Why is that? It's because small businesses are such an important part of our economy. Let's have a look at some numbers here, because it wouldn't be on the money without some numbers, would it? There are five and a half million small firms, small and medium sized firms in this country. That's up to about 50 or 75 employees. And Rishi Sunak's just announced 60 million pounds for 20,000 more apprenticeships. Not a huge amount of money. That's 3,000 pounds per apprenticeship. If an apprentice earns a thousand pounds a month, that's three months. That's not very much. Slash regulation for SMEs. It's being billed as a Brexit bonus. And take it from me as somebody who comes from a small business background. It's regulation that really irks people that run small businesses, often family run businesses. Endless calls for information from the tax man and all the rest of it. And also Rishi Sunak announced a new task force for SMEs for female founders. Guys, I know you know this, you're steeped in politics, but I can't stress enough how important small businesses are to our economy. As I said, there are around five, five and a half million of them. They account for 50 percent of our national income. That is 50 percent of all the goods and services that we provide. And they employ two thirds of us, two thirds of people in work, work for a small or medium sized enterprise. Rishi Sunak knows this. Business Secretary Kemi Bidonok knows this. That's why they went to Coventry today to this Business Connect event, trying to really reach out to the manufacturing heartland of the UK. In fairness to the Prime Minister, this is the third such Business Connect event that he has held since he became Prime Minister in the autumn of 2022, not so long ago. But they know in Downing Street, they know that small business owners, people that often work for small businesses, they're pragmatic swing voters. They're not really tribal voters. They vote in a way, however they need to vote, Labour, Tory, Lib Dem, whatever it is, reform, we must say now, SDP, help Greens, however they vote, it's because they think it's going to be the best thing for their livelihoods and the best thing for their business. And the Prime Minister very much tried to tap into that today. And I think we've got a little clip here of what he said to these business leaders in Coventry. Ah, oh, Liam, we don't have that clip. We'll see if we can oh, bring it a little bit well. later. It was going so well. <laughs> I love the new graphic, by the way, Liam, getting able to, to see you with the, with the numbers next to it. It's well, a I know, proof. Tom, I know you and Emily and indeed all the GB News viewers. And how would they feel if they couldn't see my... Little fizzog. I mean, you know, there are support <laughs> groups out there. There are therapy <laughs> sessions online. Oh, we need to see Liam's face. No, I think, uh, it's, look, it just shows that GB News is evolving. We're, you know. But Liam, Liam, on the female entrepreneurs, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm a female. I may choose to start a business. It is true that in terms of getting investment, they are very far behind the men. They are, Emily. And I must say, I, I'm glad you asked me that because certainly in my experience, some of the most impressive female, some of the most impressive small businesses that I've come across have been started by female entrepreneurs. You know, not just in the sort of cliched areas like health and beauty and lifestyle, not at all. Uh, I've met many, many small business owners, female small business owners, and they tend to be really rooted in their communities. And female small business founders, they tend to they tend to found small businesses out of frustration, not just got out of frustration because they may feel they're not always getting a fair crack of the whip at big companies uh, and they want more flexible working. They tend to find found small businesses based on their own experience. They may have you know, their experience in their communities, bringing up children, maybe with, you know, uh, interacting with 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 other local businesses, retail. They, they tend to found businesses that solve a problem that they have encountered in their own lives. And that's a really good way to start a business. And some people could 
you know, I'm going to not give Rishi Sunak a hard time on this. I know he's had a hard time for a long time on many things over recent months. But I know for, for, for a fact, talking to him over, over the years, that he is really... Um, he does really want to help small businesses. He does know he comes from a small business background himself, of course, a pharmaceutical business. You know, he is from a family, one of the long line and honourable tradition mm -hmm. of Asian families coming to the UK and founding small businesses. It's what immigrants often do. You know, I'm mm -hmm. from an Irish background, as you know. All my relatives, they all founded small businesses. Maybe they were all just a bit too awkward to want to work for other people. But they wanted to build wealth for themselves and their families. Mm. We are good at small businesses in the UK. We are good at entrepreneurialism. What we're not very good at is those small businesses growing, getting the finance to become bigger businesses that employ more people and become more valuable. I'd have preferred to hear more from that on that from Rishi Sunak today. How do we find the finance? How do we encourage banks and other investors to really back the best of British small businesses in order that they become big businesses? Because that's how you boost productivity. That's how you boost growth. That's how you boost wealth that pays for all the public finance, all public services and everything else in the economy. Well, it was Napoleon who called us a nation of shopkeepers. He meant it as an insult, but I think probably did. the biggest badge of honour he could have possibly said. Liam Halligan, thanks for joining us. I admire anyone who starts a business. It yeah. takes a lot of gumption, doesn't it? And actually, Rishi Sunak's mum, female founder. Well, there you that, go. That, that Speaks from the heart. There, you, there yeah. you know, it would be nice, nice to Rishi on, on that one.